Hi viewers, welcome to Subhas Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make a rice jaggery putter. Vella putter is nothing but sweet putter made with rice flour and jaggery. Vella putter is a naivedium made for Navaratri. This is a very traditional and authentic sweet we make for festivals and other auspicious occasions. Making rice putter is little tedious but it is a very delectable sweet. I learned this recipe from my aunt, my mother's elder sister. I usually follow her instructions and every time I get a perfect putter with sandy stem and soft texture. A little extra patience with a proper procedure is the trick to get a perfect rice jaggery putter. Let's take a look on the ingredients. Let's get started. Soak the raw rice in water for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, strain the water and allow the rice to be there in the strainer for at least 10 to 15 minutes so that all the water has been drained completely. Keep this rice aside. We are going to dry fry this rice but in smaller quantities. Heat a pan and add one fourth of the soaked and drained rice. We need to sort this rice, dry roast this rice till the rice becomes dark red in color. We just need to do it in batches so that all the rice have been properly fried up and evenly roasted till they are golden brown in color and we can see the rice starts to sputter. Keep this roasted rice aside. In the same pan, dry roast the grated coconut and also the cashews and take them aside. We are going to add this coconut and cashews only at the final stage. Take a mixer jar and add the roasted rice. We are going to grind this rice to a smooth powder. So I have taken all the rice in the mixer jar. To this add 3 to 4 cardamom pods. Add the cardamom pods and grind it to a very smooth powder. Grind it in intervals. Mix once or twice with a spoon and then grind till the flour is completely smooth. Now the rice flour is all ready. Take this rice flour in a broad vessel or a pan. Now the rice flour is ready. We need to add warm water and then we need to cook this rice flour, steam cook it. Heat a saucepan and add 3 fourth of water. To this water add 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder and a pinch of salt and just warm this water. We don't need to bring it to boil. We just need to make it warm so that we can handle it with our hand. Once the water is warm switch off the flame. We need to add this water little by little and mix this rice flour. Just sprinkle the water little by little and start mixing the rice flour. We don't need to make it as a dough. We just need to crumble the rice flour so that it should be damp at the same time it should be in a crumbled texture. I have used all the 3 4th cup of water. Slowly you can feel the softness in the rice flour. The rice flour should be in a crumbled texture but at the same time there should be little dampness for it to cook in the pressure cooker. The correct texture is if you hold a handful of the crumbled mixture it should roll like a ball and if you leave it or if you drop it it should again crumble. In Tamil we call it as Pidicha Pidikum and Vitta Budiranam texture. Once you have got this texture, 
grease the idli plates and add one fist full of this puttu mixture in each of the mold we need to steam cook them for at least 12 minutes keep this inside the pressure cooker and steam cook for 12 minutes now the steam cooked puttu mixture is ready allow it to cool so that we can handle it with our hand once we are able to handle it with our hand we are going to use a siever to crumble this cooked rice puttu mixture this step is a little tedious but it's worth doing it because at the end we would be getting a very soft and crumbled puttu we can skip the sieving process and we can crumble it in our hand itself but finally when we add the jaggery syrup to this crumbled mixture the puttu will be like a crumbled texture and not a sandy texture that is the reason we sieve this puttu mixture more patience is needed in this step alone it will take more time but finally we will get a very soft and sandy texture of this rice puttu now we have see we have done the sieving process keep this aside we need to make the jaggery syrup now heat a saucepan and add 3/4 cup of jaggery to this 3/4 cup of jaggery we need to add a tablespoon of water and i'll first allow the jaggery to melt completely when the jaggery dissolved completely then we need to strain this jaggery syrup so that any dust or sand particles are discarded heat a pan and strain this jaggery syrup to the pan bring this jaggery syrup to boil we need to make a stone consistency jaggery syrup so keep the flame in medium and allow it to boil till it becomes thicker and becomes a stone consistency take a small bowl of water and add 2 to 3 drops of this jaggery syrup and you can check whether it is not getting dissolved in the water and also if you are able to take it up and make it and roll it to a small bowl then the consistency of the jaggery syrup is perfect you can see how i have made the small consistency now switch off the flame and add this puttu mixture crumbled mixture little by little and start mixing it initially you can feel that it is getting thicker and it is not in a crumbled or soft sandy texture but believe me slowly it will crumble it keep mixing it with a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon till it becomes crumbled and it has a nice sandy texture now my puttu has been nicely incorporated with the jaggery and it is soft to this i'm going to add the gray, the roasted coconut and the roasted cashews and give a final mix at this stage add a tablespoon of ghee and mix everything well so that the ghee is also nicely incorporated the delicious uh, sweet jaggery puttu is all ready this is a very auspicious naivedyam dish we make for navaratri festival since navaratri is approaching i want to share this recipe with you all try this delectable dish and share your comments i'll meet you all soon with another interesting recipe Please subscribe this channel for more upcoming recipes. Thank you.